go Sephora, go Sephora, go Sephora, uh, uh, go Sephora. <laughs> so cute. You can like just wear it cute and dainty. That's my, that's the, my word of the day. Dainty. <laughs> It's me, just Jen, back with another Vlogmas video. <laughs> Today it is 10 days away from Christmas. So I tried to do something cute with the theme since we're 10 days away from Christmas. I decided for this video, I'm going to do the top 10 black owned holiday gifts that I found. So I did a little research. I wanted to support black owned businesses um, to give you guys some gift ideas um, or just to get something for yourself because at this point I may have to get something for myself. So on this list I have on my phone, um, I have some of the items on here and then some of the items as I was just like searching different black owned products, I'm like, I need to try to get that and see what that do just from either seeing it on um, Google searches, YouTube reviews, or finding people on Instagram or whatever. So um, I wanted to share the wealth. Share the wealth. <laughs> and um, since it's getting closer to Christmas and people may need Christmas gift ideas, um, so I thought this would be perfect to do. So um, let's just jump right into it. So my first, and nothing is like number one, it's just you know, 10 items that I found. So don't think one is better than the other. <laughs> but um, so my first topic or pick is Brandon Blackwood. So he is a black designer. Um, I haven't purchased any of his clothing or bags yet, but everything looks super nice. Like you guys, I will show you pictures here or here. <laughs> Um, but his bags are like phenomenal and I have to get one that is on my Christmas wish list. And I already told my boyfriend, like I wanted one of these bags already. Um, he had his bags range from like, I looked from $88 to almost a thousand dollars for a bag. So that's a huge to me, like a huge range where you're kind of gearing towards people who may not be able to afford like the highest highs in because I'm one of them. I'm not paying a thousand dollars for no bag. No, I'm not. Maybe not right now. <laughs> but, um, you know, if you want a cute little something and if it's like a gift for someone spending 85 to a hundred dollars on a bag that's black owned, it looks nice. Um, I think that's a steal. Um, and if you can afford the higher, higher end, then kudos to you as well. Um, but the lower end, the back that's $88, um, that's an ESR tote. So that's for his like collection that he has for in systemic racism. And so he has all these different bags, all different colors. My favorite, the one that I want, they have like a denim one, period, period. I want it. It's to the funds now, not later. I, I need that now. Um, I really want that bag. It's super cute. It look, it's just like cute and dainty, like something that I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that. So maybe if my purse is that way, then I can be there, can become that way. I so he also has um, a bag called or a collection mini Kendrick trunk, and they have super cute, like blinged out little dainty cute purses that's a steal too. Um, those bags are 250, which is still a pretty decent range. Um, not too expensive, not too cheap, not too expensive. And they are super cute too in all different colors. So I think for him, if you get one of the ESR totes or that mini Kendrick trunk, that's definitely you in there. If you thought she wasn't feeling you, <laughs> you thought I was feeling you, <laughs> just kidding. But um, they definitely gonna be feeling you now. And then that's also cute for mom or best friend as well, like a cute little um, bag, that's cute. And again, the two bags that I like, um, the ESR Toad is 88, and then the um, Mini Kendrick Trunk is 250. Next, 
Okay, so the next find I found, this is number two, gift possibility number two. It's a black owned beauty gift set by Sephora. Can you guys believe that? Like to me, just even hearing that is like such a milestone for us. Like Sephora has a whole beauty gift set geared towards black owned um, businesses. Um, ding! That's definitely a hit. Um, I just saw it again as I was trying to Google a few things that I thought would be good ideas. When I saw that, I'm like, that's super cute, especially if it's for a best friend or a girlfriend or something like that. You get like a little mixture of everything in one gift set so you can kind of play with things, see what works for you, what doesn't work, what works for your skin because there's like skincare, facial, you know, there's a whole bunch of different things in there, makeup. Um, to where you can kind of play with it and see what works for you before you officially buy that real deal product. So I thought that is a cute um, thing for Christmas, for the holidays or someone's birthday, but right now it's holiday time. But um, I think that's a good set. And guys, this is only $35. That is a steal. Like you get all of these products. I think there's like 15 different things inside. Um, that is a steal. I like. I want that for myself, but I think that's something that I may actually try to get my mom for Christmas. And we'll have to watch another video this weekend that I'll be trying to go Christmas shopping. Y'all, I got too much going <laughs> I got too much going on in too little time. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, this is a steal, like $35. That's like super cheap. Like you can't beat that. Like to get different products, to try different things. I think that's a win-win and I would definitely say that's for like mom, um, just to try different products or like best friend. I think that would be a good idea. Go Sephora, go Sephora, go Sephora, uh, uh, go Sephora. <laughs> next. So the next item on my list, item number three, the best is something you guys have already seen on a previous one of my videos, but that is Black Owned Business Telfar. Woo! Um, as you guys saw in a previous um, vlog that I did, I just got these bags from Black Friday, so I've had them for about a month now. And um, they are Black Owned Business out of New York, I believe. And um, ever since I had these bags, I just literally can't live without it, you guys. <sighs> it's just, it's so cute. It's a statement piece. Like every time I go somewhere, people are like, girl, you got tell far? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Um, this bag I got, but again, this was during Black Friday, um, when they had that rainbow special deal thing or whatever, and you guys need to watch my previous video because it was a fucking disaster. My whole entire process of ordering and waiting to get these items was a process. Um, hopefully, I hope they don't have anything to do with them being black owned. But um, I'm still supporting my people. Throughout the hiccups with that, I still love my bags. Um, this bag, I believe, was 157 or somewhere around there. I will post the price here. But it was around one something for this is the small, the small bag. And then I got Big Mama. They called me Big L.A. Ah, big Step. <laughs> I got Big Mama here. This is the large Telfar bag and painter's tape. This is my favorite, you guys. The last few trips, um, I went to Reno on a vacation. I brought her with me and like they, she carries everything. Like this is, you see it barely can fit or it takes up the whole screen. You can't even see me. Um, and this one was about two something. I'll post this price as well. But I love my Telfar bags. It's still in great condition. I didn't put her through some things. <laughs> I didn't put her through some things. You feel me? But um, I love Telfar. Um, the quality of their products are phenomenal. The only um, downside is like, if you plan to get this for Christmas, 
If you ain't already um, ordered that yet, um, sis, bruh, it, it ain't coming by Christmas. I, I, I'm gonna have to tell you that right now. It ain't coming by Christmas. It ain't coming by Christmas. It ain't coming by Christmas. You hear me? These bags are so hard. One, to even order. You go on their website, everything is sold out all the time. All the time. I mean, you can get it like on resale if you go to one of those websites. I, I don't do that because one, I don't trust the people that's really reselling it. Um, and then two, I just want to buy directly from my people. Like to go, I don't know. I don't feel like doing all that. I'm not too savvy with that. I'm too old. I don't know none of that. So um, hopefully good luck and it works out for you guys. But like I said, if y'all haven't ordered the, these yet, um, try your luck maybe next year. Because sis, it ain't happening this year. So um yeah, if I was thinking, I would have like ordered an additional bag for someone as a gift when they had this rainbow um, collection back in October. Um, but I didn't because I was selfish and just wanted to, get, <laughs> wanted to get my bags. But um, lesson learned. But um, Telfar, I would definitely say that's also a steal. If you ever get a chance, that is definitely a great gift, great black owned gift to give someone. Next. Okay, so product number four or gift idea number four. Um, I'm bringing it to hair care and the fourth product that I use or have just purchased is Myel um, shampoo and conditioner. Um, I've Googled this product. Um, I found out that, I mean, cause I've been seeing it a lot in like Target and the beauty supply stores. And I was wondering, is this black owned or what company is this? Like the, just the design of the bottles and the labeling, it was, it stood out to me. But like besides this color, they had like a green. So it just like stood out to me and I just Googled it one day when I went home and I'm like, what product was that? And then I saw it was owned by a black woman. I'm like, sis, okay. Um, so when I found that out, I'm like, okay, I gotta go buy this and give it a try, support my people. Um, but I wanted to give it a try. So I think I've only used it like once because then after I use it the first time, I got a weave, so it was, I couldn't do it. So I do plan to use these items and hopefully I get great results. I just wanted to support my fellow black sis, my black queen. And so when I found that it was owned by a black woman, I said, I have to get this, give it a try at least because I use all these other products for my hair and skin and I don't know who it's owned by. And so when I found out, okay, this is some shampoo and conditioner owned by a black woman, I hope it's gonna do my hair some justice. So I would definitely have to keep you guys posted like once I have my natural hair out and give these a, a few tries in and let it get all moisturized and get it all. <laughs> <laughs> but um definitely support like if you guys see this in target or your local beauty supply stores i would say give it a try um and let me know now this well okay i bought this in a beauty supply so i don't know if it would have been cheaper in target or like in another place but in your local beauty supply store each one of these for $17.99 so it's a little on the pricey. I mean, to me, that's not really pricey, especially when you're paying for something. I feel like you can't play no games when it comes to hair in your face, your skin. So if something is a little bit pricey, you just have to save them coins. Save up no coins and get some good quality products. So $18 a piece spent and $40 for shampoo and conditioner, I think is like an okay deal. Um, but I would say guys give this a try, but I will definitely kind of keep you posted maybe like next month when I take my hair out or whenever I get tired of this. And when I start giving this a try, I will definitely update you guys and let you guys know how the hair is doing. If it's giving body, giving ugh, everything it should be giving. Okay. So my L organics. Next. So for number 
five, the black owned business or company that I'm supporting is, this was also mentioned on a previous um, video I did on YouTube, but when you go to Target, they are doing this, I think it's like every month, they are showcasing like a designer of the month, or I don't know how it works. I, I'm sorry, I forgot what it's called. But um, I believe this month and last month, it was my girl Kalana Barfield. I had one of her pieces on in a previous video that I did. You guys catch that out. Um, but I was just walking in Target one day and I was like, who's this pretty black girl? It's like her picture was up and then there was like clothes everywhere. And I'm like, he came up to me and he knew all about it. He was like, girl, um, this is Kalana Barfield. She's like the designer of the month. And you guys should take a look at this. Like me and my best friend were there. And he was just telling us like, these are the products that she has out right now. And more is coming out like next week. He was like, get with it or get lost, period. I'm like, okay. And so me and my best friend looked through some things. Um, and it is, it's, I don't want to say it's on the expensive side. I feel like it's affordable um, and it's good pricing for the type of quality product. And so if you guys, um, I have two of her items that I purchased and I'm sure you guys have seen me in this possibly either on Instagram or on my vlog previously, but this is like a vest, but I don't know what you call this because it's super long as you can see, but this is super cute. It's heavy, it's thick, good quality, good material. I got a medium in this and it fits me so well. I love it, I love it. And I think this was like $50, but just to give you guys an idea of the quality that she was giving for her Target Queens. I mean, come on, this is definitely a steal. The only thing is that this was all like, I got this last month. So if you guys do try to go there to get one of her items as a gift, I'm not sure if it'll still be there. I, I did go, I think like a week or two ago and there were still like some things still scattered in the stores and I've been to several Targets since then. So I think it's just hit or miss, like wherever you live, like whatever city you're in, you'll have to give it a try and see if it's there. Um, but she came out with two lines. And so I think this one is from her first line. I haven't gotten anything from the second line. When I went before, I wasn't like, well, the Target I went to, I wasn't fond of like the items that they had there. So I just kind of passed on it. Another statement piece I got from her is this cute black bag. Super cute, you guys. Look at the detail on this purse. I mean, the handle, so cute. You can like just wear it cute and dainty. That's my, that's the, my word of the day, dainty, dainty. <laughs> Um, but it's super cute. And then if you want to just wear like crossbody, you can also do that. This is super cute. I think this is like $35, um, but super cute. And then even if you guys um, just want to go on Target's website, um, I can post the link and I'll try to find um, and see if it's available. But I think you probably have to go based off of your zip code to see if it's even in stock where you live. But you can always try to order these things online. But again, her name is Kalana Barfield. And girl, you're doing the damn thing. Period. Shout you out, queen. I'm loving the pieces. Next, item number six would be my girl, Robin Rihanna Fenty. Um, I've already give, gave a disclaimer on her and how I don't want to hear nothing bad about Riri, that is my sis, my February baby queen. Her birthday's in February, mine's in February, so we just, we go together. We, we here, we here. Um, but her skincare and her perfume, like I just feel like, skincare, makeup, and perfume, excuse me, like I just feel like you can't go wrong with Fenty. I've never heard anything bad about Fenty. I've never heard of bad customer service. I never heard that she's always out of stock. Um, Riri does the damn thing. Even with Savage Fenty, her lingerie, I still don't have none. But um, right now, all I have is her perfume that I have not used yet. 
but I um, already did a perfume holiday um, haul on a previous video, so guys, please go check it out. And I explained to you guys what this smells like, what I thought of it, and all of that. But I definitely would say go support my girl, Rihanna, please. She's a black queen, um, and she deserves to be celebrated as the queen she is. I believe this perfume is $140, so it's not too pricey. It's a little bit more on like the designer end, I would say, which is, yes, girl, get your coins. And if you feel like your um, perfume is top tier up here, it's gonna be up here with Gucci YSL, because that's where I put her next to. I have my um, YSL, my Jimmy Choo, and then my Fenty, period, period. So um, this is a cute little stocking stuffer because it can fit in a, fit in a stocking. Um, but I would say for a girlfriend, close friend, um, this is a good, good buy. Fenty by Robin. Cha-ching! Next, item number seven. Um, this is something I have not tried yet. I have not purchased. Um, so I don't really have a review, but it is more of a suggestion of something I found that's super cute. This company is called Estelle Colored Wine Glasses. It is a black owned business and they sell luxurious wine glasses. And to me, it's like, what sis doesn't love drinking wine? Because I know I do. And who doesn't want to drink wine out of a cute, sexy glass? I do. It's like everything's I do, I do, I do. <laughs> and it's like, of course, um, it's like, I love to be feminine. I love to have luxurious things and live in lavish. Like, I love that. And this is that. Um, the wine glasses are not cheap. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that disclaimer. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. We need the coins. We need the funds now. Um, so if you guys can see here, the wine glasses, um, the cheapest, the cheapest wine glass looks like it starts at about $170, but that is for a set of six. Um, so they're not cheap, but they look very nice, very classy. And I feel like that's just something when you're like, you have guests, like that is not something I'm drinking Kool-Aid out of. Cause I do that sometimes. You ever just, okay, this is a side note. But sometimes, like, I just want to drink out of a wine glass and I could be just drinking, like, Kool-Aid or juice or something and put some ice in it and be feeling like, mm. who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna check me, boo? Um, but I ain't put, if I had this set, I ain't putting no Kool-Aid. <laughs> I ain't putting no Kool-Aid in none of that. None of that. This is strictly wine. Who Is all that's going up in here. Champagne. That's it. Period kids no nieces and nephews no you want to drink no you got the funds that if this break you going you going shoot um <laughs> i'm just kidding but i think this is like a very classic classy gift now this is for someone responsible and so with that being said that's going to mom or grandma that's it I ain't giving this to friend, cousin, baby mama, none of that. Grandma, mama. That's it. Somebody responsible, they're going to put this up in a glass case. And you put this behind a glass case and don't nobody open it unless it's maybe Thanksgiving. And even then, she probably just, you know, leave it in that glass. People can just look at it. Period, grandma. Because that's all they need to do is look at it. <laughs> But I think this is a really cute idea. And I feel like, again, it's luxurious. It's classy. It's statement pieces. They come in different variations and colors. Um, so I think that's a really good steal and a really good idea. Um, definitely for a gift. So I would definitely suggest that. Again, that is a still colored wine glasses. You guys take a look. Let me know if you end up getting it as a gift. I'll let y'all know if I end up getting it next. So item number eight, we're almost getting close to number 10. 
Item number eight is from a wine company from some sisters. I think their name is McBride Sisters. And this is the Black Girl Magic Wine. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this in BevMo, Target, um, Walmart even. Um, these different wines, they have like a Rosé, Riesling, um, Moscato, I think, um, red wine blends, everything. Um, I forget, I don't know if they're from the Bay Area, um, but they are like sisters. I want to say they are from the Bay Area, but um, they have this company and they make all these different wines. Now, let me just put this out there. There were some wines I tried from them that I wasn't a big fan of, but they do have some ones that are good flavors. So you have to test, I don't know your palates. I don't know what you guys are into or not, but they do have some great wines. You just have to kind of give them a try and figure out what works for you. And on top of that, they're affordable. You guys, I think all their wines are like $19.99. $19.99 to get, get, I'm just kidding. Wine is for you to sip and be dainty. See, that's what I said. Dainty is my word today. Trying to get effed up is not being dainty, Jennifer. But um, no, they the wine is a reasonable. $19.99, you can't go wrong with that. And who doesn't love wine? And wine is like, I would say the number one like gift giver for the holidays. Like, it's no sex or age. I mean, well, it is an age. You got to be 21 and over. But it's good to give to a co-worker, a friend, a, you know, a family member. Like, it's just a general give wine because you don't have to think, oh, will they like this, not like this? Will this fit them? Will it not fit them? You know, you don't have to worry about that. It's wine. Like, you can't go wrong with that. And whether you want to drink it or not, just put it in the kitchen, put it in your little wine cellar, and just keep it for show. So... You know what I mean? <laughs> so I always feel like wine and liquor is like a great gift because anyone would appreciate it. Because even if you aren't a wine drinker or a liquor drinker, you just appreciate a nice bottle, um, just the thought of it. And um, it can sit, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, you don't have to drink it or utilize it. Or if you have a party or do anything, let your guests enjoy it. So. Um, I think that's why wine is like a perfect ideal gift giver for anyone during the holidays because it's just like a statement piece. Um, it brings peace and happiness. So definitely try this Black Girl Magic. They're located in Targets, Walmarts, Bevmos. Um, pick your poison. They're all there. Next. So the ninth item that I have is, again, this is a product that I have not tried. Um, again, this is for hair, and I wanna just give a disclaimer, more like a backstory behind it. Um, this girl I follow on Instagram, her Instagram name I will post down below, but it's Ty the, M Ty the MUA, so I think Ty the Makeup Artist, I think. Um, but I started following her just because she's a beautiful black queen. I love the way she dresses. She just gives me life. And then I didn't realize that she had like hair care products. And so, I mean, fat, I mean, sorry, rewind. And then like for the like first week or two that I followed her, I was always like admiring, like, is that her real hair? Is that her hair? It looks so beautiful and healthy. I just like kept saying, I'm like, is that her hair? Every time she would post something like, you know, just normal walking videos, reels. I'm like, I kept looking at her hair and I'm like, her hair looks really nice. But I didn't really like think nothing of it. And the next thing I knew, she started posting stuff about like hair care products and it was her business. I'm thinking, girl, tell me something. Uh, it was meant to be, me and you was meant to be. We meant to be, sis. Um, and the company is called Rich Girl Company, and she has like um, oil, hair growth oil serums, um, shampoos, conditioners, all for black girls. You guys have to go to her page, and just she even talks about her hair journey and making these products. Um, it's like phenomenal, and it's breathtaking to even see and witness like someone. She looks fairly young to even do this. I don't know if she had help or how the process worked for her to start her business, but um, I was just in awe. 
and I will be purchasing purchasing excuse me some of her products um, I wanted to purchase during Black Friday, but then I got busy and I forgot because I was so busy trying to order other things and I forgot to order. So I would just have to order regular and I don't care. Um, but I definitely want that hair growth oil serum. I want to try her shampoos and conditioners. I know I was already telling you guys about my L, but this is another great product. The Rich Girl Company. Um, you guys should definitely try it out and it's affordable. So the hair growth oil is only $7. So how can you beat that? You literally can't. And she has like shampoos and conditioners and those are only $15. Y'all, she doing it big. I think during Black Friday, she did a huge sale. She made a lot of money. She got the, herself a G-Wagon. I'm like, okay, sis. Um, but I definitely want to purchase, um, and I think she even has like bundles and stuff on there for you can get like a whole little bundle, like of the oil, the shampoo and the conditioner as well. So I would definitely recommend that because I'm getting that for myself. Um, and I'm going to give that a try because I mean, you can never have too much hair care. Again, you can't have too much hair care, skin care, none of that, especially from a black woman, because it's like, you know, our struggle, you know, the struggle. So I truly appreciate that from her and I definitely will be purchasing something. Thank you, Ty. And I hope I'm saying your Instagram handle name right. Um, but shout out to you, queen. Alrighty, next. All right, so we are on gift item number 10, y'all. The last item. And the last item, or I guess business, is from someone that I know, and she doesn't even have an idea that I'm doing this. Um, her name is Ruby, and we went to college together. We went to Clark Atlanta University, you guys. Whoop, whoop, HBCU in the house. Um, so her name is Ruby, and she owns a company called Sent by Kennedy, which I believe Kennedy is her daughter's name. And she does, she sells candles and wax melts, shea moisturizers, like she does it all. And I've just been watching her journey through the entire process of her um, doing her business. And I am like super proud of her and I've never like told her that. Um, I have purchased her candles before, I still have some and I plan to purchase more things from her but I've personally bought candles from her and wax melts and they smell phenomenal. Um, I, I just loved them. And y'all know how much I love candles. So like, I normally always just get Bath and Body Works, but my girl sent by Kennedy, those candles be hitting y'all. Um, she's based out of Atlanta. Um, so you guys check her out. And she also has an Instagram that's also sent by Kennedy as well. Um, Black girls, we love our smell goods and candles are one because I know I love a good candle. But my girl, my sis, she is super affordable. Like her wax melts, I think are like $4 or you can get like a bundle for 12. Um, her candles are like $12. So it's very reasonable. Like, you know, if you go to Bath and Body Works or bigger candle companies, their candles are hitting you for $24, $30 for a one. No when you can go black owned for more than half of that. Um, and it still is giving flavor, giving scent, giving luxurious. And that's what Scent by Kennedy is giving. And I just wanted to shout my sis out. Um, I want her to know that I truly appreciate her. I see you doing your thing, sis. And it is greatly appreciated. Don't stop, don't ever give up. And um, I'm proud of you and I'm happy to shout you out. And I hope you're doing well. I hope your business is doing well. Um, but we see you, sis. You doing your thing. Um, and that is just the end of the video. But I just want to say shout out to everyone that is trying to start their own business. Um, that is thinking like, is this going to work? Is it not going to work? And all I can say is never give up. Um, my motto, I was just talking about my college. And our motto in college was find a way or make one. Like, it's like, if you don't know how to start something, you can't figure it out, just figure it out and do it. Don't ever give up on yourself because no one believes in you more than yourself. So if you're starting a company, starting a business, starting a YouTube, wanting to be a rapper, singer, basketball player, whatever, and you're not getting the recognition that you feel like you deserve, be patient. Um, no one can give you as much recognition as the man above. That's all I can say. 
Um, I don't want to get all spiritual and all of that, but um, it's truly a fact in my eyes. And um, that's truly my journey. It's like I just started doing YouTube and I'm just going to see where it goes. I'll never give up. I've been having fun doing vlogs with, vlogmas with you guys, posting every day. Um, it's been a struggle. I ain't going to lie. Make it seem like nothing is easy here, but um, <laughs> it is hard to post every day, but I've been doing it and I've been having fun doing it. As you guys can see, I'm a big goof troop. Um, but even though I'm working, I'm doing this and that, I still make time to record, give you guys content and I love and appreciate it. And I hope you guys love and appreciate what I'm doing for you guys. Um, I hope you guys again are having a wonderful day. Happy Vlogmas day 15 y'all. We got 10 more days to go. I don't know y'all. I'm losing track. I'm just trying to get to day 25. Oh y'all remember day 26? I'm just kidding. Um, but I'm getting through it. I've been having a blast. Um, I got to figure out my next few videos. I told y'all that yesterday and I'm still trying to work on that. But I kind of get my ideas together and I just go with the flow. So um, again, thank you guys for watching. I hope I gave you guys great gift ideas, whether it's to give to other people or for you to receive and gift yourself. Because some of these products I don't have and I plan to just get for myself. Because at this point, I'm waiting on who? No one but me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, please. And thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, loves. Uh, 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 uh.